Hello, my name is Zheng Wei. I am a PhD candidate at Auckland University of Technology. This is a joint work with my supervisor, Dr. Jiang Liu. My research area is multi-agent system and game theory. In particular, I work on the problem of correlation formation. Today, I'm going to talk about my new results of applying multi-agent system to software requirement decomposition. Software architecture is an important area in software engineering. Software architecture design essentially lays out a software's basic decomposition and fulfills the desirable software requirements. It links the process of requirement engineering to software development. Particularly in this talk, we focus on attribute-driven software architecture design, and this design methodology emphasizes on quality attributes such as usability, safety, and performance. Basically, this methodology provides detailed guidelines for taking requirements as inputs and outputting conceptual software architecture design. It has explicitly identified trade-offs between different types of quality attributes, for example, as shown in this table, the first row indicates that typically in a software component, increasing availability will increase the reliability and the robustness. Design drivers are the most basic building blocks in ADD. They consist of all functional requirements and quality attributes. Functional requirement describes specific functionality of a software. They also have certain uh, complicated dependency relations. Quality attributes refers to non-functional requirements such as performance, availability, and safety. In ADD, quality attributes are represented by scenarios. For example, if a failure occurs, the banking system notifies the user. The system continues to perform with a half efficiency. This refers as the availability scenario. Attribute primitive is a software component designed particularly for showing quality attributes, for example, router and virtual machine. Attribute driven design takes seven steps. Step one, it validates all requirements. Step two, it chooses a component or subsystem as a design element. Step 3, it identifies important design drivers and eliminate non-essential design drivers. Step 4 and 5 will instantiate a design element to attribute primitive. Step 6 defines interface for the element. Step 7 is for documentation. As we can see, this process iteratively decomposes a set of design drivers to different software modules. In this work, we define a new correlation game called the decomposition game and a new solution concept accordingly. We use a multi-agent framework to implement a centralized algorithm to solve the game. In the end, we demonstrate our proposed approach on real-life projects. We also perform experiments on synthetic games. Correlation game is consisted of a set of players and a characteristic function v. The function is used to capture the synergy of a correlation. A correlation structure on correlation is a partition on all players. We view design drivers as players and component or subsystem of the software as correlations. In the composition game, we introduce altruistic player. Essentially, an altruistic player considers the utility of its correlation as its own. Players also going to influence with each other. For player A, there could be three types of influence to another player B. It could benefit player B or detriment player B. Or A and B are independent from each other. To capture players' interaction, we first define a signed relationship. All the relationships between players are in a set A. 
All positive relationships are in a subset of E denoted as EP, and all negative relationships are in EN. We use a function sigma to identify these signed relationships. If two players A and B are in EP, then sigma of A and B is 1. If A and B are in the EN, then sigma of A and B is negative 1. Otherwise, sigma of A and B is 0. Then we use function w to capture the amount of influence that one player affects another. In software architecture design, it usually determined by interrelationships between design drivers defined in the requirement. Next, we use a context-based function rho to define player's interaction. To calculate influence from A to B in a collision S, we consider two cases. If A benefits B, then A will gather all relevances multiplied by sigma of A and B. Otherwise, it gathers all the relevances but takes the absolute value multiplied by sigma of A and B. We define a decomposition structure D, which consists of a set of players EP, EN, and W. A decomposition game of D is a collision game, where V of S for subcollision S is the sum of all interactions in S. Utility of a collision can be improved by applying the following strategy. If a collision applies merge strategy, that means several collisions may choose to merge if they would obtain a higher combined utility. If a collision decides to use a bind strategy, then several players within the same collision may form a subcollision if they would obtain a higher utility. We call a collision is merge-free if it cannot merge other correlations to increase its utility in a given correlation structure. We call a correlation is bind-free if it cannot find a subcollision within itself such that that subcollision obtains higher utility. Hence, we consider a rational decomposition should be merge-free and bind-free. We are going to use a multi-agent framework called PSA to solve decomposition games. In this framework, each agent continuously performs three procedures which will capture two strategies above. For procedure propose, agents drive a proposal based on the environment. For procedure select, agents collect proposals from other agents and select a proposal with highest utility. For procedure adjust, agents update their own states according to the selected proposals. In our proposed framework, we define two types of agents. Each correlation in a correlation structure of a decomposition game is viewed as a correlation agent. Each subcorrelation in a correlation structure of a correlation is regarded as a subcorrelation agent. A proposal is a set of agents with the same type. A proposed correlation or subcorrelation contains all the players from all proposed agents. Each proposal maximizes the proposer's utility based on current correlation structure. However, if an agent looks through all the subsets of the all the players, it will be time consuming. So we propose a constraint to constructing a proposal. So a constraint T is a positive natural number such that for a correlation structure or subcorrelation structure of size k, k to the power of alpha has to be less or equal to t. Our first case study is an Android application called SplitPay. The purpose of this application is to manage shared expenses for a traveling group. Users in a group will post bills that they have paid for the group. Then debts will be allocated to group users. Uh, there are 18 functional requirements and 6 non-functional requirements in its documentation. In our study, we set t equals to 10 to the power of 4 in order to compute rational co uh, decompositions. The result has four correlations with different emphasis on different quality attributes. 
C1 requires set of functionalities in the application server and it requires the server has higher performance. C2 is a client end and responsible for client server synchronous communication. C3 is for processing UI events from the user. C4 is just for user interface. C5 is a mechanism which prevents user from doing something else while they are using the app. Then, if you apply some attribute primitives in Android, C2 could be a bind service. C3 could be a sync task. Or we can make C5 a timer to terminate some processes of the app if some extreme uh, event occurs. Our next case study is a highly complex real-time ballistic missile defense simulation system. We are only able to use the composition game to perform architecture trade-off analysis due to the limited documentation. But still, the ATAM identifies sensitive points and risks in the design. So there are 12 quality attributes. We set T to the 10,000. Um, the involved quality attributes are availability, reliability, performance, usability, modifiability, scalability, and interoperability. The solution to the decomposition game made separation between computation and configuration. C1 is responsible for heavy computation like ballistic missile simulation. C3 provides an external interface required in the documentation to communicate with other war game terminals. Our last case study is a cafeteria ordering system. It is an online system which coordinates orders from customers to patrons. The requirement involves 49 functional requirements and 11 quality attributes. The constraint T we set up is 5 times to 10 to the power of 5. It involves 6 different quality attributes. The result has 12 correlations. We found that correlation 4 and correlation 10 can be eliminated from the design because they are not relevant to build a software. Correlation 5 is the biggest correlation and it handles interaction between user and the system. Correlation 2 provides a controlling actions within the system. Correlation 12 stores some status of the system. After applying the attribute primitives, the architecture looks like MVC pattern. C2 as controller will perform actions in the system. User's input will be passed to controller from C5. And C2, the controller, will also communicate with the system stat status C12 and perform some functions provided from the payroll system uh, by C3. In this research, we generate synthetic games. Uh, parameters we are going to change in these games are symmetry of a game number of players in a game T and alpha. Our synthetic game aims to further find out some performance of our approach, including computation time cost, social welfare, the probability of rational decompositions and cores. X axis on A chart is value of T, on B chart is alpha, on C chart is number of agents in a game. Experiment 1 looks at how these changes affect probability of rational decomposition and core. Apparently, increasing T or alpha will boost the probability, but increasing number of players will decrease the probability. Experiment 2 looks at how changes affect utilitarian and egalitarian welfare. The experiment 3 looks at time consumption on different parameters. As our expected, increasing any of these parameters will result in much more time to find a solution. To conclude, our main focus in this research is to simulate correlation formation based on decomposition game. 
We also extend PSA, the multi-agent framework, in order to compute rational decompositions. Efficiency of our approach can be increased by setting up some constraint T during the computation. In the end, we conduct real-world studies and synthetic experiments to test feasibility of our research. Uh, thank you very much.